Welcome to the video. In this video, we will see how to perform some operations on the signals. In the last video, we have seen how to generate different signals. Now we are going to see how to perform different operations on the signals. So, for that, First, let me copy the program. I already wrote a program. I am loading the program to the editor. So, this is the program for performing some operations on the signals. There are 112 lines, but it is very easy if you see module lines. First, the one which is available here from line number 5 to line number 17. This is for gen generation of two input signals. So we will see only this part first. Then up to generation of two input signals. And we will go to the next step. We would like to perform even addition operation and multiplication operation. So this set of operations I will take as one program first. So I will copy this part. It and I will put it in a separate file. Next, I will give a name to this file. This file. I will give a name as test dot. Now run the program. If we click this run, save file and run option, you will get pop up windows like figure 1 is popped up. It is showing input one sine wave, another input, another sine wave with different frequency, and addition and multiplication of the sequence. So I have generated a sine wave with 4 hertz frequency with 8 hertz another signal it's resultant of the addition and this is multiplication. So here scaling is also copied in the program which means more than scaling. Okay. Scaling we will see in the next video on now. So if I click run I will get two inputs and addition operation and multiplication that's all only one figure will come so let us see the program logic what is it, what is there in the program as you already know that the first three statements are common clc clear and program and here i want to generate a graph from 0 to 1 only so i took t is equal to 0 to 1 with switch operation between them as 0 0.01 every 0 0.01 element will be repeated in the program. I have generated a sine wave with 4 hertz. I will change it to 2. I will change this to 2 and I will change this to 4. You can decide any figures. Then after generating input 1, input 2, I am plotting input 1 here. I am plotting input 2 uh, here. Then I am adding the two numbers. It is very simple. x1 plus x2 addition operation. Multiplication is x1 dot star x2. So if I run the program, you observe here. Sine wave with 2 hertz. This is one second and the second. 2 hertz frequency and here we have 4. four, uh, four. So we have changed the program only this t value. But this documentation part I didn't touch. So in the documentation part, here we have title, sine wave frequency, sine wave of frequency 4 hertz. Earlier the program uh, was written for 4 hertz, so they use the name 4 here. So we change that 4 to 2 now. Whatever the frequency you give, you give that value here in the uh, title. Now if you run, you can see the correct uh, it will show. Sine wave with 2 hertz, this is sine wave with 4 hertz. 
and addition this is the addition operation and this is the multiplication operation so like this we will perform first two operations addition and multiplication let us go to the next step, scaling operations you will see the next one this part scaling operation we will copy here and we will paste it in the test program I don't want this previous program so delete that and paste a new one then run you observe here this is input value input sign value with frequency 1 but after scaling it became 2 originally the frequency I mean amplitude was 1 now amplitude became 2 so this is called amplitude scaling operation on the signal how did we do that we have drawn the signal from minus 1 to 1 it's 0 0.01 separation between the samples then I took sine wave with frequency 4 hertz then I plotted that sine wave after that I, I calculated y3 is equal to 2y3 it's better you make it y4 because already y3 is there so make it y4 y4 is equal to 2y3 wherever y3 is there that I am making it 2 times then I am plotting that here y4 plot of t1 comma y4 so let us see the same whatever output we got same we will get here frequency is amplitude is 1 here and amplitude is increased to 2 so if if, if you want to get the program automatically uh, I mean without any axis commands in your program you can remove the axis if you want and see what happens in the program if there is no axis command we will get two graphs it will take automatically the values minus 1 to 1 because we give t is equal to minus 1 to 1 here and it will automatically take the amplitude 1 here it is 1 here it is 2 to have a clarity that signal is changing we will use a common axis for both graphs the system will automatically take the scalings x axis values and y axis values but if you want to give it manually on your own you want to decide the axis then you can write it here axis open bracket normal uh, normal brackets and then inside that square bracket in that you have to write x axis value x axis value is from minus 1 to 1 y axis values I want from minus 1 to uh, I would I would like to go up to from minus 1 to 1 only otherwise we will fix uh, the axis from minus 2 to 2 we will take minus 2 to same axis I will give here also here now you have the change in the graph so instead of asking, instead of making the system to take the scale automatic, we have fixed the scale. Y axis is from minus 2 to 2, x axis is from minus 1 to 1. In both it is same. Input was here, like it was amplitude was only 1. You can see the maximum value 1 here, maximum value is minus 1 here. Amplitude was 1, but after scaling it became 2. So it, you can see the clarity clearly that what is the amplitude, how it is changing by the amplitude scaling operation that's what that is about your amplitude scaling now let us move to the next one folding operations in the this we have program right we go to the folding of a signal So let us go to the next operation that is folding of a signal. Also, we will see shifting of a signal 
and we will also see time scaling as one program itself. So if you want you can do them separately one by one, So, but I want to do all at a time. So if I run this program, I will get three graphs because I use figure command for every uh, program I use figure command. So it will display the figure of that particular program uh, in a separate figure. So if I click run, you can see observe here figure 1 is folding operation, figure 2 is sh uh, time uh, shifting operations and the figure 3 is time scaling operation. Figure 1 is folding, figure 2 is shifting and figure 3 is time scaling. So let us see one by one first. Let us see the figure first. Figure one. This is the input signal unit step generator, and I am folding it, so it became folded. Logic for the folding is just t should be replaced by minus t. That's a very simple program. T two is from minus one to one. I made t two is equal to minus t two. That is called folding operation. Shifting operation. <coughs> I have drawn a program. I have drawn a signal from zero to one sine wave with frequency 7 and uh, I defined my, uh, my own custom axis I want to show it from minus 1 to 1 I plotted it then in order to have a right shift I am adding plus 1 to the T3 in order to have a left shift I am subtracting 1 from the T3 it's very simple right shift operation and left shift operation this is the original graph of with 7 points frequency I am shifting it towards 1, plus 1 I have added, so instead of starting at 0, it will start at 1 now. So original signal instead of starting at 0, if I shift it towards negative side by making minus 1, it will start at 0 and will go towards negative axis. So that's what you can see, left shift operation, right shift and left shift operations. Now comes the next one, scaling operation. We have seen amplitude scaling earlier, the amplitude of the signal is increased. We will see time scaling also. So time scaling can be of three types, two types. One is the input signal which is originally from minus 2 to 2 can be compressed and we will get from minus 1 to 1. Or the original signal minus 2 to 2 can be expanded so we will get it from minus 4 to 4. So this is called time compression operation, this is time expansion operation that can be achieved by changing T by t by 2 like here you can see time compression is t4 by 2 and the other one is the time t by uh, t star 2 so we, here our t name is t4 we took a variable t4 that is time time value i am multiplying it by 2 so i will get uh, expansion operation so time compression time expansion can be done like this so this is about uh, the programming uh, EO signals in octave software for different operations. We have started with addition, multiplication, then we have seen times uh, amplitude scaling, then we have seen folding operation, shifting operations, and then time scaling operations. So that's about your operations on signals.